Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. Let's review ascites. Well, patients who generally have on the board exam portal hypertension result in a splank like vasodilation. There's decreased effective circulatory volume. Also, there's an activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. And finally, you want to look at the renal sodium levels or if there's any renal vasoconstriction to see if patients develop ascites or hepatorenal syndrome. Ascites is um, very common. Patients who present with any type of a bacterial infection may need a diagnostic tap such as spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Also, um, you know, patients with new onset ascites or clinical deterioration should undergo paracentesis. Patients who are undergoing evaluation for liver transplant should also be considered for a full workup of the ascites. Now, to treat this, you want to give patients a sodium-restricted diet, and before going to the tap, first consider diuresis with spironolactone as a first-line therapy. In addition, you can try a loop diuretic. And then consider a spontaneous bacterial peritonitis tap. Um, antibiotic prophylaxis should be given, and in some patients, transjugular intrahepatic portal systemic stent shunt is efficacious for refractory ascites. So this is um, an important slide for any question that comes to you on the board exam. Again, on this ultrasound, you can see the ascites right above the liver. And for the complete lecture, go to comlexflashcards.com and you'll find more resources on both the Comlex and the USMLE. Good luck.